Hi, everybody. We're back in Cherryville. Or should I say Cherryville, North Carolina. Yeah, don't say Cherryville because it's not, you'll say you're in the wrong state. Um, but it's Cherryville. And we're here. We're back here because we're at Retro Toys and Collectibles. And my friend Cotton owns the place and great guy. You gotta come by and see him if you're looking for cool toys. It's mainly retro. He's got newer stuff too, but I come here a lot to see what he's got vintage wise. But yeah, this is uh, downtown Cherville, right behind me. So, well, let's go inside and see this wonderful toy store. And here is the entrance to Retro Toys and Collectibles by Sell Trade. And I love his entryway. He's done a great job with this door here. That looks pretty cool. Of course, he has the Hot Wheels and Funko Pops. And it looks like it always needs to open up right here next door. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, here are the times over here. I'll show you that. There's your store hours right there. Of course, they're currently open. He's not opened on Sundays. Yeah and Mondays so yeah close Sundays and Mondays but Tuesday through Saturday 6 a.m. no 6 a.m. he would think I'm nuts 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. yeah there, there's no Starbucks close by so yeah <laughs> we're gonna go inside right. so right off the bat when you walk in check out the collection of garbage pail kid cards right here in the showcase he's got some cool little you know, little records that you play with storytelling you got the Gremlins all through here G.I. Joe Return of the Jedi a lot of Gremlins figures up here but here's the inside of this wonderful store yeah, he's got cool stuff right in the front as you enter you got the m m guy here all right gonna walk around and um <clears throat> here's matt and cotton right here <laughs> he's going through stuff clean up a, a, a zelda game looks like for nintendo so you care do you carry a lot of games a lot of, a lot of video games um, we have in the past. We're right. getting ready to figure out what we're going to do with that section moving forward. But we right, sure. Right, now. right, okay. So, there you go. There's that answer for that. So, yeah, you might find some here if you come in. But look at all these wonderful toys here. And wrapped right about, look at the retros right here. Vintage He-Man in the showcase. And so, he's going to categorize really well. He-Man. Uh, Ninja Turtles all through here. Get better view here like that. Got the Transformers. Look at that. Got some newer stuff too behind there. As well, the Nika toys. We have the vehicles up here at the top. A lot of retro stuff at the very back there. The racetracks. Look at that. Those are cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything here, and he's got some of the open vehicles here as well. Oh, he's got some uh, the, uh, the Mythic Legion right in here. I'm sure he's probably got Cosmic. Oh, Beast Wars. Got some vintage comic books and magazines. Let's see the chair these right here. Weird ball. Got the uh, Rogan Lobots. Japanese, some of the McDonald's. Um, toys there. Oh, these guys right here. I'm not sure. I'm not, those might be marks. I think they are. Be sure to check the showcases too. Look at that Hulk Hogan. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cute. Oh, I like him. Brother. And then here, here's the games I was telling you about too. The consoles all through here. So, yeah. I'll check these out. Those are these right here. Nice WCW figures. Cool. Here's some of the games. Some of the consoles here. Yeah, little game. He's sorting through them too, so ask him if there's certain ones you want to see while you're here. In the box too. I thought about getting a, a new console. So like the uh, 64. Going right there, um, and the Genesis. Uh, but um, yeah, I had those years ago. 
don't have any more. Here are your wrestling figures in the box and Lucy's right here. I've been hooked to the Hasbro's recently. From the early 90s. Nice. Looking down here. Look at all the box ones. He's, he's got some rare ones as well. He's got a great collection. Look at these guys. Nice. Kevin Nash, Sting, Scott Steiner, Goldberg, Page, Dallas Dunn Page here. Hold him right here. And uh, this is 84. Yeah. Isn't that awesome. He's got a lot of Lucy's here, which is nice. Actually, uh, they got Gary Hart, and he was uh, the manager of the Hart Foundation, or, you know, Brett Manville. We have one of those. He has like a pink outfit on. Go find that. Uh, here's the back of the store. Oh, check it out. He's got beautiful showcases here. Just filled with tons of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Here, I'm not going to rip that. Wow. Missing part of the spin, but it looks cool. Nice. Let me get him back up. I don't think that's... Oh, it is Beel Juice. Cool. I like that. Oh, there's an Urkel. Let me get the all cheese right there. Get some retro Ghostbusters backpack. Got two of them right there and right there. Got some dinkies and some really nice tin toys here and cap guns. Old Western, still in the in the box. That's pretty neat. Look at all these. So cool. And the Rambo. Some Japanese imports as well. Voltron. Justice League, some more tin. And some Terrians right there as well. Ah, these are nice. They come, they're kind of mixed together too. There's Inspector Gadget, really Inspector Gadget stuff. Nice. Ghostbusters, more Ghostbusters. Mask right here. Oh, mini uh, Thundercats right there. Little Thundercats at the bottom. Then you go over on the other side. More showcases. Look at this. One here. And the Troll Warriors too, which I'm a big collector of. Love the Troll Warriors. Jurassic Park. A lot of retro Jurassic Park. Some of the old stuff. From the 90s. Nice. Let's pick them up. Extreme dinosaurs, I think they're called. Yeah. The pterodactyl. Let's pick them up. Him at one of other local stores, collectible stores, and look at who. Doctor Who fan, especially like Matt Smith and uh, um, Tom Baker. We have the stone protectors there. I've been collecting those as well. Man, they're great. More box stuff up here. Nice. Just trying to get through each of the showcases for you. Get an idea of what's out there in the store. That book, it gives a block. Box set 1990 from Hasbro. It's their stage. There it is, there. <laughs> it's wild. And all this Muppet stuff here. It dazzles in the box. A lot of trolls, some more uh, figures here. Wow, this is great. 
also anime. Lots of anime. Yeah, all along here. Get a bunch. Let's get some more. Proton packs. And toys from uh, Ghostbusters. Get a, the ghost machine that would capture the ghost. Nice. Get all those. Head back here. Get Barbie. All here. So the girls have their collectibles. And guys, guys collecting too. With all the Funko Pops. Got t shirts. Lots of Funkos. There's like a little showcase here. More of your rare Funko Pops right in this uh, display. Get some, uh, you get a lot of imports too that you can go through. Things that are rare that you just don't find in regular toy stores. And some you can't find in other collectible stores. You have to come here and look for them. A lot of Spawn and McFarlane toys right here. Ninja Turtles, old Star Trek figures. More of the retro Ghostbusters. Those actually aren't badly priced because they're in really good shape. Got Vankman, Spangler. Now I got boop. Yeah, look at these. That's Ray. After you get old, when the uh, Stay Puft blew up, he's covered in marshmallow. Oh, there's a beep beep <laughs> water pack. <laughs> you got some Doctor Who figures here. Futurama, GI Joe. And Torchwood too. Because we'll get a little series. Yeah, you see the Torchwood figures. That's pretty neat. Don't see those that often. More Doctor Who. Pirates of the Caribbean. You got the Shadow and some old uh oh, you got tick figures. Tick tick tick. There he is. 29. The Enterprise figures. Captain there. Awesome powers. More Ninja Turtles. Get 50. One of the vans here, the turtle tank. Here's your GI Joe's. Yeah, I like them with open, open package like that so you can see what they look like. I don't like uh, where they're just a regular box with just a picture on the front. You can't really see the figure. More Ghostbusters, more spawn. We've got a huge amount of Lord of the Rings. Figures, which I need to go through because I collect the heck out of them. Well, he's got a bunch. It's like two rows right here in Jurassic Park. So I also have uh, Pokemon cards. More Jurassic. There's Ian Malcolm right there. And there's Alan Grant. More Doctor Who. A lot of Doctor Who figures. Walking Dead. Over here, more statues, and here's your hot wheel wall right here. Oh, I like the Tonka van. Little old Tonka stuff like this. This is the door. He's cool. Look at the hot, uh, vintage hot wheel play sets. Got different Voltrons up there. Got a Shogun Warrior. Some creature from Lucky Moon. Here's some retro Star Wars back here. We'll add that in one village. You get Spider Man covered up <laughs> with the uh, mask of the creature from Black Lagoon. But we will see get some cylinder blisters, some red, uh, old Star Wars figures right there. Get all these. Okay, it's got a nice selection retro vintage toys of Star Wars figures. Center. Bounty Hunters right here. Oh, check out the 1976 uh, the Fonz <laughs> Happy Days guitar. That's neat. All the Hot Wheels are here. He's got a nice selection of Lucy's right here, Marvel and DC figures. Got the uh, Toy Biz figures. Marvel Legends. Nice selection. I'm going to show you all this, but then I'm going to go look around myself and see what I can find. 
but I just want you to see everything he's got in here, collector-wise. More Star Wars here. So the Hot Wheels stops about here, goes all the way that way. Then you get Star Wars all the way down this way. You get the vehicles all along here, look at that up here. Rebel Transport. You get the Battle of Hoth play sets. Millennium Falcon. The box. Look at that. The general giant statues right there. A little bit of everything. Great. He, yeah, you spent a few hours in here for sure. He got Lego back there as well. So this old corner here is Lego. Right in here. And check out that Beverly Hills Bill, Hillbillies retro vehicle with the characters in there. I don't see Ellie Mae, but Jethro. Yeah, they're all, all in there, Grandma. Nice. I'm gonna look around and see what I might find. But this is a fantastic store. Yeah. So tucked in this corner is the UFC fighter figures right here. Right amongst the uh, WWE figures. Yeah, all along here. The UFC fighters. There's creepy freaks. Let <laughs> see what that is. <laughs> Those are neat right there. Ten dollars. There's some creepy freaks. I've had to look carefully through everything. Um, I did find a Legolas that I didn't have in my collection. It's the 12-inch uh, doll version of Legolas. So I've been looking for him, and uh, I think I'm going to pick him up. And Cotton does carry the Gundam models as well. It's got a great selection of those right here as you walk in. You'll see them. I like the little ones, too. Those are neat. And he actually has Skeletor's staff right there. So I just finished up here at Cotton's place. Yeah, I love this store. It's fantastic. And I did, he gave me a good deal on Legolas and uh, to add him to the collection. I couldn't believe I didn't have him. It's crazy. I've got the Aragorn, I've got Gimli, and I've got the Hobbits. 
but no Legolas. You get to have Legolas. Uh, of course, I have Gandalf. You know, I'm a big Gandalf freak. But uh, yeah, that was our visit here in Cherville, North Carolina, at the Retro Toys and Collectibles. Be sure to stop by, and at the end, I'll have uh, a link to their site so you can find them. And uh, yeah, I think they're mainly on Facebook, not on the. Uh, they don't really have a website. It's mainly on Facebook. All right, guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.